Chalk is very important for climbing. And in no particular order of importance. Here we go. Number one, use chalk when climbing. It'll boost your climbing capabilities by at least 300%. Wet hands are very prone to slipping, which does highly increase your chance of getting injured. Not to mention, wet and greasy hands make the holes wet and greasy for everyone, so try not to. Number two, to properly chalk your hands, right hand, grab, grab, left hand, grab, grab. This ensures that both hands are adequately covered. The common mistake is to grab chalk out of the bag with one hand and then spread it across your other hand like lotion. Unfortunately, chalk is not lotion. Number three, once you apply the chalk, a clap or two and a blow of the wind will help eliminate any excessive chalk on your hands. But be careful that your excessive chalk does not fall upon anyone's face. Number four, this should go without saying, but do not inhale the chalk. It's kind of stupid. Number five, chalk comes in all shapes, variety, and sizes, and they all work pretty well. So don't beat yourself up wondering which one to choose. Typically the cheaper one works pretty well. Number six, place your chalk bag on the ground. Tossing it or dropping it may lead to unwanted spillage of chalk. But if you have a magnetic closure bag like me, now, tossing it gently is pretty okay. Number seven, brushing holes make them infinitely easier to hold. Step one, brush off the chalk. Step two, blow it off to eliminate any leftover chalk. Optional step three, you could have taken too much chalk off, in which case you just reapply some more chalk onto the hole. Step four, repeat steps one through three, or be satisfied and start climbing. Number eight, chalk up your hands a minute or so before you plan to start climbing. This will help dry your hands out before you climb. Also, chalk up your hands right before you actually start climbing in case you started sweating some more, which will also help you not have sweaty hands when you climb. Number nine, wash the chalk right off your hands once you're done climbing. Chalk is great for climbing, sucks for pretty much anything else. Number 10, make sure you store your chalk properly so as not to make a mess. Close your bag properly and you might want to even put it inside another bag. Number 11, bonus tip. Don't quote me, but if you acquire a flesh wound, chalk can most definitely absorb the blood and help close the wound. Do it at your own risk. Statistically speaking, no adverse effect yet. And those are 10 climbing tips about chalk. Hope you enjoy and hope you learn something. And I'll see you next time. Pond.